Will, are you ready for me to make an idiot of myself? Yes, I am. Are you ready for me to get told no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because that's, you know, almost definitely what's about to happen. I like hearing you be told no. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Uh, so here's the story, guys. Um, I've been chasing down Rob Deerdick for more than a year now, and I haven't really reached out in a long time. So today is the day I'm going to call his office again today and try to get through to him. Uh, the whole purpose is if we can get through to Rob Deerdick, I would like to pitch Trigger Devils to him uh, for, you know, for an investment. You know, we're, we don't need investors right now but i think he would be a great person to have on board and so basically why not what's the worst that could happen i got told no we got a funny youtube video out of it we get a funny youtube yes yeah, so we, you you can't lose you got a funny youtube video of me getting denied by probably the front desk most likely but um so what i did today this morning was i went through his twitter and his instagram which apparently are the same thing and i just yeah, checked you know. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see, you know, what has he been up to? Where, where is he going with things? And he's, you know, he's doing a lot of video game stuff. He's doing VR. He's doing um, that that skate project. Um, What's it called? I don't remember the name. Good story. Well, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he's doing stuff that's well aligned with video games. I think if he saw us and saw how real this is and how awesome Trigger Devils actually are. Uh, I really do think he genuinely have some interest. So, uh, but anyway, I was looking for something, a connection that I could, you know, on the phone, you know, make a connection with the person that I'm about to call and, uh, and, and use that to get through. But there really wasn't much on social media that I could really attach to. So let me give you guys a little bit of a background story on how this all went down. True story. Like I said, a year or so ago, I was like, I want, I think Rob Yerdick would be a fantastic match so i started going on the google to find uh how could i get in touch with him and at that time i think this was an accident but fantasy factory the actual office their phone number was available on google as like a business result you know how they have like the business results on the search results like on the the right hand side and it's kind of like listed as a business page well, that, that was happening when I searched Fantasy Factory. And so I got the number and I called them. And I'm pretty sure, like, when I called them the first time, like, Big or his brother answered the phone. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure Big yeah. Cat answered a, a second time when I called. And they kept, they, you know, they would say, like, like yeah, yeah, we'll tell them and, and whatever. But it was very <clears throat> obvious that they were not they going to. <laughs> <laughs> very, very obvious. And so I just basically stopped calling after a while. Um, and, you know, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have kept calling. It's a year later. Our business has grown more than 300%. And I just feel like it's time. It's time to give another ring. Now we have a YouTube channel. It's a good video idea anyway. So, like, what is the worst that's going to happen? So let me get set up. And I'm about to make this call. And you'll see how exactly I, I try to... I don't say weasel my way in because we actually have something very real, but I'm trying. I'm I might have to get a little sneaky. Mm, sneaky, sneaky. But you got to do what you got to do to get to get to get through. Oh, oh, mm. dropping bars. Man. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Can't use my phone because because we're, we're filming with my phone. So we took the number out. We put it into Will's phone, and I'm getting a little nervous about calling. I hate. I hate nerves. I shouldn't be nervous. Who cares? I'm about to get told no. It's not a big deal. Do it. Why am I nervous? Oh, this is a Louisiana number, it says. Oh, is he from Louisiana? Uh, he's from Ohio. Oh. That's where he lives. I don't know where Fantasy Factory is located. LA. Yeah. It's kind of an odd. Maybe the number. I don't even know if the number's still active, actually. They could have been. They could have changed it. Go for it. All right. How do you put it on speakerphone once I dial? Is it, is it like a. I'm calling. I'm calling. Speaker. Should come up a grid. You should be able to. Hit Oh no! Oh, that sucks. All right, let's see if I can find a different number now. Well, all right, I'll do some research. Get back to you guys. Go ahead. All right. Next up, first of all, credit card needs to go away. I'm not getting a new credit card because I've put the number on YouTube again. Made that mistake once already. <laughs> all right. So here's what happened. Uh, I I did a little bit more internet research and found another probably not real number. 
but it's a different number than the number I had. It's actually coming in as California this time, which I just realized. That's going to make more sense. Got that number into Will's phone, and I'm about to call this one. Don't get your hopes up here, but let's just see what happens. All right, I'm going to stand up so I can pace and put my nerves on. My nerves. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. Just it just call ended. It's all, it's all it says is call ended. I, I think they hit the FU button. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time. No. <laughs> it, just, it, just, it just stops ringing. I'm pretty sure they hit stop. You think so? More than likely. Well, it's like exactly six. You know, I'm gonna call again. <laughs> what, what does it matter if you get? Let's see if it's six seconds again. Oh, you're right. Maybe like persistence. What? What could? I'm leaving a voicemail. Oh, I just... Oh, it ended. What? Why would it end again? <laughs> it went to a voicemail and then didn't give and then, the option to leave a voicemail. Yeah, and then it was just like, I'm going to call again. <laughs> He's persistent. Like, what's the worst that could happen? They say, don't call. Oh, it's not asking for it. It's just saying they're it's unavailable. Yeah. yeah, that's why. It doesn't even like offer voicemail. <laughs> it's just a person you call. So who am I calling? I don't know. Do you think I'm calling like Rob Deerdeck's cell phone number? Maybe. <laughs> who knows? That would they be hit, so weird. They hit the FU button the first few times and then just got yeah. tired of it. So they let it go to... I just let it go through. I'm gonna try again in like 30 minutes. Yeah. That's weird. That is a very human type response. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, we'll get back to you guys with more if we have more to give. Rob Deerdick's probably blocked my phone number. Oh well. That's your phone number, so I don't care. <laughs> Alrighty. It's been about Roughly a half hour. We took that time. Pretty we close. Made, made it very, very productive time, of which we went upstairs and pet my cat. We got in a lot of kitty petting. I have I fur that. all over my face right now. I can see it, it flying does. around still, like an aura <laughs> of cat. Here we go, though. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to commit one more time. Make put, them available. Put through to voicemail again. Well, uh, I... The persona. We can just hang up. It's, it's done. All right. So I guess that means that we have to make a sequel to this video. That's what it means. Uh, gave it our best shot today, but maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Maybe. And get the same response. And if we get the same response, so what? We just move on with tomorrow's video. <clears throat> no harm, no foul. If we're persistent enough, maybe they'll actually answer. Or just block the number. But at least we know we're not blocked yet, because then it would just immediately go and be like, that number is unavailable or something. So anyway, we're not blocked yet, so that's good. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> if you guys love our grind and love the fact that we are just out here getting work done. If you love watching us pester celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Slap that. Possibly. If that's even his phone number. <laughs> Yeah, well, we don't even know. It might not even be some. It might be some poor lady. 
whose Some. number got posted on the post online that it didn't belong. Anyway, um, slap the like button, subscribe to our channel, do all sorts of nice stuff for us. Uh, support our Patreon. We have a Patreon. I don't mention it a lot. Oh, I have a Patreon update coming soon. It's gonna be a really good video. Uh, I just I just keep pushing it out. It's been really busy, but anyway, we have a Patreon. It's gonna help us get uh, better equipment to film with. And that's all for this video. We appreciate you guys. I hope you guys appreciate our grind and love us because I do this for your love. He does. Entirely. Okay. Okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. In fact, if I can make my cat meow right now, you have to click the subscribe button. Okay, deal? You, you agreed. So now you have to subscribe. We'll wait. Oh, you're not done, are you? Subscribe.